We ordered some of the worst car products on Amazon in 2023 and let's see how they measure up. First up, we have the steering wheel desk. It says the automobile usage. Unique design mini desk that hooks to the steering wheel in seconds without hassle work as a writing table or as a platform for your laptop. Reverse side is a food tray with drink holder. Um, and supposedly can fit into the back pockets of the car seat when not in use. Nice, tightly wrapped. Um, it's basically a piece of plastic. It's very hollow. Like it's definitely not solid. You can kind of press it and it um, compresses in. We have a very small cup holder here. Um, yeah, it just looks like the kind of plastic that you'd find like on any sort of little kids toys. Like just that generic cheap, hollow, soft plastic. Okay, right. so this is the top. I actually don't know how to move this steering wheel. As of right now, this is a bust. It does not fit this girthy steering wheel column. I mean, also, I think it just depends on how your steering wheel is set. Like if it's pretty narrow and you can clip this in, I, I mean, go for it, I guess, if you need to sit in your car and like type on a very small laptop. The steering wheel desk, well, obviously it didn't even fit in my car. Maybe it would fit in yours, but nonetheless, it doesn't seem like it would be comfortable to use. And honestly, I just give it a pass. If like everyone else, you're tired of your phone and spare change and crumbs and whatever falling into the crack between your seat and the center console, you can now put that gap to use with the car seat gap organizer. The car seat gap organizer. Oh, it says right here for phone, coins, keys. It's giving you some ideas. I actually do have a lot of coins there in my cup holder area. So I could do with something to organize those. The only problem is the gaps between these seats and the center console are so small that I can barely fit my small hands in there. I guess you'd only want to consider this if your car has a sizable gap that you're able to easily reach in and out of. Um, if you kind of just hold it up, it's pretty tacky, just this red against like whatever inside your car is. But hey, I did check my iPhone 11 could fit tightly, but it could fit in here. So that's fine but this glue i don't know if you can tell but this glue looks pretty thick underneath this tape so i'm not going to risk putting this in my car and leaving a bunch of residue everywhere so if you're going to commit to this i feel like you have to commit to it and just slap it on there and if you don't like it hope that it comes off gap organizer didn't even work um, and the adhesive looked kind of scary on the back. Like I think if that is stuck on your side of your seat, that thing is not coming off. So I would only put this in an old car that you don't have to give back to the leasing company or anything like that. And it's also one of those things just like, why? Like, why do you really need that? You have a glove box, you have a center console, you have um, the back seat pockets, you have the cup holders. Even though it's kind of a cute idea. Now, this nifty creation is um, a seat back headrest attachment that you can like hang bags from. So if you don't want your bags to be jostling in the back of your car, when you turn, maybe you could get one of these. It's just these little, okay. So there's a couple pieces here we're gonna need to assemble. And, ooh, I mean, I don't like the way this looks. It's like thicker than I expected, but it does expand to accommodate a variety of head rest widths. Yeah, I have to, it didn't come with any instructions or anything, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this on my own, which maybe if I sit with it for a minute, it won't be bad.
Um, I gotta take a minute to figure out how I think this works. It just kind of expands. It doesn't appear to snap or open unless I can. Okay, so once you unscrew the little screws, all these pieces come apart, which I didn't realize. So these pieces are going to rotate outward for you to hang your bags from. And then these little rubber things go between these two layers and these two layers. But the unfortunate thing is I'm going to have to pull my seat headrests all the way out, then put this thing on, then put the headrests back on. Okay, so I got this all loosened up. Ooh! Oh my gosh, I didn't realize there was so much oil or grease that lubricated this metal part. That kind of freaked me out. Oh, I have to screw this back in. Screw these parts back together. Then put them on here. So they're rotated out for me to put the bags on. I can expand it, yup. So now it is wide enough to accommodate my seat back. Oh, it's going in, right? Okay, let's see if I can get this. It did click, so it's back in place. Um, let's see if I can, can I even sit comfortably with it? Now, it doesn't look very aesthetic, as you can see, you could, see it kind of flimsy but I don't think anybody would be touching it like that so not a great aesthetic but if you're really looking for the function let's see if it can hold some bags um I just have my little emergency blanket here in my car and we'll just it does hang I probably didn't install this right unless it just goes up like this but it can hold weight it didn't break. Um, you know, if you tug on it, obviously it rotates here, but it's doing the job. This one was kind of more of a wild card. I didn't know what to expect. It was way more complicated than I thought with the way you had to disassemble it to be able to assemble it. And I didn't like that you had to take your headrest off the seat, even though it's not a huge deal. But this would actually be one of the ones I would keep. And I'm very surprised to say that. I also saw these fake letter sets that you could put on the front of your hood to try to imitate like the Range Rover lettering. And I thought I ordered a complete set, but maybe I did something wrong or this is just hilarious because I received a single letter X I mean, I don't really have any words here. This is pretty hilarious. Um, I guess you could put it in like a scrapbook page or something, but it's about the same size as a letter on the front of a car, but I feel like X is the least used letter in car names anyway. Like, let me think for a second. I can even think of a model name that has X in it. Um, so let's open it up and see if it could at least stick to your car. And here it is next to the letters in Range Rover. Um, well, it's definitely not the right size and I don't think that's quite going to work. I mean, yes, if you're wondering, could it physically stick to your car? It'll sit there. You could do it, I just don't know why you would. I don't even know if you needed me to say anything else about this X. It's kind of funny, but you could probably get it at a craft store. And I just wouldn't put this on your car. Just don't be that tacky person. <coughs> That's gonna be it for this one, but we have some more exciting products lined up for part two of this series. So stay tuned and we'll see you soon.